ABS, the lead pickup, some 16th notes, and a red ES345. We can only be talking about one person, that's Freddie King. Hi, my name is Joe Bonamassa, and this is the All Guitar Network doing a little series here called Live from Nerdville. And uh, we're talking about the guitars and the artists that influenced me and a bunch of other people, of course. Um, and uh, in the context of how the instrument works, why the artist chose the instrument, and some of the licks that you can learn just, you know, by watching these demonstrations. Um, today we're talking about Freddie King and the Texas Cannonball. Uh, when I first heard Freddie, it really just rolled me over how powerful, you know, uh, a, a instrumentalist he was and he was known as an instrumentalist and then you flip the record over you know and um, you heard have you ever loved a woman and you're like what a voice and um, I had the ultimate honor uh, with Freddie King uh, being involved with um, Derek Trucks and Billy Gibbons and Dusty Hill um, inducting him uh, into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame back in 2011 it was really really fun and I brought my my 72 ES um, uh, 355, just like he played at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas. And yeah, I'm a Freddie King anorak. I, I, I love all the gear. I don't have a quad reverb in this small room because we all want to hear after this demonstration's done. But the um, thing about Freddie's playing that always got me was how aggressive it was. It was a little faster than BB King and Albert King, you know. <laughs> he, was, he was in a hurry to say something and he would, he would, always, you know, punctuate the phrase with a bend. And that really, you know, it really stuck out and he had, he would kind of live on the lead pickup. You know, don't ask me to to plug in the front one on this guitar because it's a factory stereo model and I don't have the stereo cable so the front pickup technically doesn't work at the moment. But um, he would use the veritone to his advantage and you know and I read in an interview with him that because he used the thumb pick and he'd turn the amp all the way up he would vary the dynamics and the volume of the guitar not by turning the volume down just by just by varying the attack on the instrument which is a, which is a really great skill to learn i can demonstrate that a bit you know like you know you could play if you're really bringing it down. And mind you, I didn't touch the volume control. Or you go... And it was the first time I really heard a guitar used as a weapon. You know, in the sense that you could make it moan and cry and weep and make your audience like go along with the journey with you, but also in, in certain instances, in certain circumstances, you could, you could use it to pin the audience back in their chair and go, wow, that was aggressive. And it's all about channeling your inner emotion and your inner, you know, passion. You know, I'm a pretty shy guy on the outside, but, but when I get on stage, there's something that clicks. And when you would kind of watch Freddie King footage, it was the same kind of vitality and dynamic. All of this stuff is not something that you could read note-wise out of a book. It's something you have to feel and something you have to kind of, it's a lot of trial and error and it's the kind of thing where you could take a guitar and an amp and keep turning the knobs until you until you get the sound, but if you can't get the sound you can start varying the dynamics in your own playing and all of a sudden you'll find the aggression, you'll find the subtlety, you'll make the guitar weep, you'll make the guitar moan just by just by manipulating the dials on the guitar and the attack on your pick or if you want to really be like Freddie get one of those old-fashioned metal thumb picks and just go at it I can't do that because the tip of my thumb turns blue after about five minutes so I, I like to keep my thumb at least for another 22 and a half years before I retire from this this business so this is Joe Bonamassa this is the all guitar network talking about Freddie King thank you for watching and we'll see you next time